Bruce Troutman's cornfields near Sutton, Nebraska, have received about a third less rainfall than normal this year. This morning's sprinkles will not help much. That isn't enough to, to uh, do the crop any good. Uh, we're beyond repair on the corn. But Troutman is one of about 250 U.S. farmers field testing a new kind of corn, genetically engineered to tolerate the stress of drought better than conventional varieties. This ear here has the drought tolerance in it, drought gene. This ear does not. So you can see the difference in size, difference in kernels. The difference, according to Mark Edge with the seed company Monsanto, is a gene the company added to the corn plant. The gene is actually found in soil bacteria. It's a common soil bacteria. And what it does for the bacteria is it helps it uh, survive through that stress. Here's how it works. In normal conditions, a thin chemical ribbon carries instructions to the cellular machinery that makes corn plants grow. Under stress, that ribbon gets tangled and the machine jams. Adding the bacterial gene helps keep the chemical ribbon untangled and the machinery running smoothly. Bruce Troutman's corn looks good, but Monsanto's Mark Edge is cautious. Growers are very excited about it, but we need to wait until the yields come in from this fall to really get a better evaluation of that. Critics like Doug Gurian Sherman with the Union of Concerned Scientists say do not expect too much. It's a step forward, but it's very, very modest. Gurian Sherman says in severe droughts, the added gene may not help much. Some of Troutman's neighbors got less rain than he did. It's not clear that the drought gene could have saved them. And Gurian Sherman notes conventional crop breeding and better soil management are also improving drought tolerance without the cost and controversy of genetic engineering. There are more cost-effective and more reliable at this point ways of um, improving things like drought tolerance. And, and we need, I think, to put more of our effort into, into those areas. And while he does not have any immediate safety concerns, he says testing should be more rigorous. Monsanto's Mark Edge says the seeds have been tested and regulators have approved them. And he agrees conventional breeding and soil management are important. There isn't one thing that's going to address drought. It's a combination of things, and this is a very powerful tool. Farmers will see just how powerful when the harvest comes in this fall. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Sutton, Nebraska.